No, San Antonio Spurs fired Doug Moe. He, of course, has found a new and comfortable home in Denver. Hockey triviata for both schools. Who was the first NHL player to score 50 goals in six? Ohio State, Carl. The floor? Yes. Guy Lafleur scored 50 goals in six consecutive seasons. Numa got beast. Hockey triviata, extra point question. Who holds the record for most consecutive 50 goal seasons in the NHL? Gretzky. Mike Bossy. Mike Bossy with nine. NFL coaches for both schools. This coach finally retired for good in 1968 after he won nine divisional titles, six NFL titles. Michigan, Darren. Paul Brown. No, not Paul Brown. I'll keep going. Six NFL titles, good guess, though, and a record 320 games. In 1963, he became a charter member of the Hall of Fame. Who is this coach? Carl Hallis. 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 Papa Bear. George Hallis is correct. And here's your extra point question. The Green Bay Packers hold the record for the most league championship seasons. And to emulate the late John Facenda, how many trophies are packed in the Packers trophy case? Eleven. When you talk about the Packers, you have to read it like that. Eleven is right. Uh, basketball for both schools. Name the member of America's 1976 women's Olympic basketball team. Ohio State, Carl. Lieberman? No, not right. I'll continue it for Michigan. Member of America's 1976 women's Olympic basketball team who tried out for an NBA club but was cut. Michigan, Darren. Myers. And Myers is correct. The brother made the NBA, though. Your bonus question, uh, Wolverines. What medal did Myers' Olympic team win in those 1976 games? A gold medal? Silver. They only got the silver. But you get your 10 points. It's 110 to 60. Baseball for both schools. For 10 years, from 1965 to 1975, this Dodger pitcher could say he was the only major leaguer in history to pitch four no-hit games. Ohio State, Carl. Koufax. Sandy Koufax, indeed. A video extra point question now, Ohio State. But Sandy's Dodgers were on the wrong end of this pitcher's historic fifth no-hitter. Name the all-star outfielder who grounded into the final out of the game. Baker? Yes. Dusty Baker and Nolan Ryan's fifth no-hitter. Boxing for both schools. When this boxer had his third son, he named him George. There was really no shock because his other two sons were named Michigan Darren. Foreman? Yeah, his other two sons were named George and George. And it was George Foreman. I, I, I often wonder what Mrs. Foreman is it, probably like shouting mom in a toy store. Everybody turns around. How many times, heavyweights is your extra point question. How many times did Joe Lewis defend his heavyweight crown? Go ahead, Darren. Seven. 26. They fought a lot in those days. They didn't, like, back out of everything. All right, but we've had a good game going. Ohio State leads Michigan 130 to 70. That's the end of round two. Got two more rounds to go now. Come back. We've got a good one broiling. And back at Boardwalk and Baseball outside of Orlando, Florida, Ohio State leads Michigan 130 to 70. And uh, now we change the rules a little bit just when you guys get used to everything. Then we uh, give you two uh, topics. The team behind gets to choose which topic they are. And since Michigan, we have either baseball or triviata. Which one would you like? We'll take baseball. How did I know that? And Ohio State, Carl? We'll take triviata. Okay, that's a wise choice. Uh, each question is worth 10 points. I'll read them to your team. You have five seconds to discuss it. Give me an answer. If you get it right, it's 10 points. If not, the other school gets a chance to answer it, as well as one from their own category. 130 to 70. Michigan, you're behind. You have a chance to, uh, to throw the ball and try and catch up. All right. Odd moments in baseball for Michigan. On April 25, 1976, two people rushed onto the field at Dodger Stadium carrying a particular object, which was wrested from them by Cubs player Rick Monday. What was that object? Answer, Darren? Knives. No, it wasn't knives. Ohio State, uh, you have a few seconds. Was it an American flag? Sure was. It was an American flag. Very famous incident. That's your 10. Now here's your uh, category, Triviata. In hockey, three goals equal a hat trick. The term was borrowed from this English game 
In which player scoring three times were given a hat? Name that English game. Cricket? Yes. It would be cricket. All right, Michigan, try another baseball. Let me, let me fire in another one. Who served from 1920 till 1944 as the first commissioner of baseball? King Saul Landis. Yes, Judge Landis is absolutely correct for 10 points. <laughs> Triviata, Ohio State. In what sport is the legal weight of the ball anywhere from 2.4 grams to 2.53 grams? Ping pong? Yes, if you said bowling, we would have had a good chuckle. That's correct. Sports heroes, uh, Michigan. Who was the oldest man to lace up his cleats and play Major League Baseball? Minnie Minosa. Not right. Ohio State, you have a chance. Page? Satchel Page was older than Minnie. Well, he's probably the second oldest. Triviata, Ohio State. In 1920, an ice hockey player named Joe Malone set a record for goals in a game in which still stands today. How many pucks did Joe pump into the net that night? Six. It's not six. Michigan, you want to take a stab at it? Seven. There you go. It's seven. Joe Malone. All right, maybe there's your breakthrough. It's 170 to 90. Michigan, your baseball question. For the 1988 season, who was the highest paid player in the major leagues? 1988 season. Jim Rice. Not Jim Rice. Ohio State, you have a shot at it. Schmidt? It wasn't Schmidt either. Ozzy Smith. Ozzy Smith, 2.34 mil. Played shortstop, of course. Triviata. Ohio State. This Heisman Trophy winner says he makes all his big life decisions by flipping a coin. Which college to attend, whether or not to play pro ball, whether or not to join the Cowboys, where he's become a star running back. Name him. Dorsett. Not Tony Dorsett. Michigan, you want to give it a shot? Herschel Walker. Yeah, might as well try that. It's Herschel Walker. You flipped a coin and landed Dorsett. It landed uh, Walker over there. Uh, baseball for Michigan. In what year had the Babe set his supposedly unbreakable record in his, for home runs in one season? What year was that? 1927. Correct. 10 points. Michigan's pulled it within 60. Ohio State, here's your question. As of 1988, a store in Louisville called the Doll Shop offered 12-inch dolls of three jockeys who have won the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> Name one of those dolled-up jockeys. Who writes this? Shoemaker. Sure, why not? Willie Shoemaker doll. It's almost as tall as the real thing. And that's uh, the bell ending round number three, Ohio State. Leading Michigan 180 to 110, but we have our 100 second dash for victory, and we'll be back to find ourselves a winner. We are back with Ohio State leading Michigan 180 to 110. And it's for all the marbles right now to advance into the second round to stay alive in our round of 16. And these two Big Ten rivals know that it is the 102nd dash to victory or our lightning round as we honor one of the great uh, uh, game shows in the past, Password. Um, I've asked as many questions as I can in 100 seconds. You buzz in. If you're right, you get 10. You're wrong, you lose 10 points. At the end of it, we add it up. If there's a tie, I'll explain it then. But we ask another question. We'll worry about the first 100 seconds. If there's another five, we'll explain it. All right, everybody ready? Hands on buzzers. Best of luck. Let's start the clock now. What's the nickname of the athletic teams at the University of Pittsburgh? Ohio State Carl. Panthers. That's right. If an athlete uses the Fosbury flop, Ohio State Carl. High jumping. That's right. In 1988, he became the first Englishman ever to win the prestigious Masters Golf. Ohio State Carl. Lyle. Sandy Lyle. But in 1959, not but, in 1959, money men Lamar Hunt and Bud Adams founded what? For Michigan, a Darren. The AFL. That's correct. Name the man who was elected to replace Peter Uberoth as commissioner of Ohio State Carl. Giamatti. That's correct. What is the oldest arena in the NBA? Ohio State Carl. Chicago Stadium. No, that's wrong. The 10 events of the Olympic decathlon are contested over how many days? Ohio State Carl. Two. That's correct. President JFK elected to snap on the helmet for what college football? Michigan, Benson. Harvard. That's correct. 
Name the New York Yankee who played more games for that team than any other Ohio State Joe. Mantle. That's correct. What NBA coach reached 200 wins faster than any other coach? Ohio State Carl. Riley. That's right. What name is given to the seasonal sports event once called the Temple Cup? I didn't think so. In how many seasons did Hank Aaron hit 50 or more homers? Michigan Adam. Zero. That's correct. What Pac-10 football team has an Arabian horse named Traveler? Ohio State Carl. Southern Cal. That's correct. In the NHL, how many minutes is a player penalized for spearing? Michigan Benson. Five. Yes, that's correct. In what country did American figure skater Peggy Fleming ice the gold medal? Uh, Ohio State Carl. Norway? No, that's wrong. Name the college coach who won his third NCAA title in 1987. That whistle too late. And Ohio State has defeated Michigan 240 to 150. Excellent on both teams in that round. The questions that you might have missed, just for future reference. Peggy Fleming uh, won the uh, gold in Grenoble, France. Uh, the Temple Cup became the World Series. I didn't even know that. And the oldest arena in the NBA, the Boston Gat, not Chicago Stadium. But Ohio State, you've uh, done it very well. 240 to 150 over Michigan. I don't know. You'll have to settle it on the gridiron for yourself next fall. We'll be back to wrap it up in a moment. At Boardwalk and Baseball, Super Bowl of Sports Trivia, Ohio State has defeated Michigan 240 to 150, but uh, maybe made some friends uh, with the rivals, uh, right? Thanks for joining us. Best of luck at school at Ann Arbor or at home. And you guys, Carl, one of the early nominees here for Rookie of the Year, but you've only just begun. You're on to the second round. Congratulations. All right, Ohio State has won it over Michigan. Send the news to Columbus and Ann Arbor and the world. We'll see you next time. I'm Chris Berman. So long.